Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative. Today I have a really quick tutorial and it's about when you may face a problem where the Divi theme style sheet says that it is broken. So what in the world could this mean? Um, it's, it's a confusing message and I'm going to show you how quick it is to fix this. It's really simple and I saw someone asking about this. This is why I'm doing it. I, I realize it's probably a pretty rare situation, but hey, there's got to be a published solution out there and I, and I believe in that. So that's what I want to do. You can um, go check our link to our Facebook group. That's where I, I saw someone post it. And here's the screenshot. You're going to get something like this when you're in your themes. So when you go to your dashboard and go to appearance, you, this is where you would see it down below these like uh, installed this grid of themes okay you're gonna see it down below here and it would look like this it'll say broken themes the following themes are installed but incomplete it's not very helpful and then it says Divi is the name of this theme and the description is the style sheet is missing and you can delete the theme it's like well okay that's not going to solve the problem by deleting the theme the solution is really simple just reinstall Divi I don't know exactly what causes this it's pretty rare but it does happen sometimes I know it happened to me before and I know it happens to to various people again I don't think it's widespread but sometimes I don't know what causes it except it could be something with when you're saving the file it doesn't um, extract correctly on your computer or it times out, like you may be um, installing an update and it times out and it didn't get all the files and one of those files is your style sheet and that's essential for a child uh, a theme or a child theme to work. That would be an explanation of why it's not working. So anyway, the solution, go to your Elegant Themes account and click download on Divi. You're gonna have to manually download it instead of updating. Then go back here, like where I was, go to Appearance, themes click on add new even if it's already installed click upload theme right there choose the file and then install and it'll be like you're installing Divi again now some of you may be concerned well what if I do that and it, it removes old settings or something it doesn't do that uh, when you update plugins or themes and I have a tutorial linked here about that how to manually replace a WordPress theme or plugin file um, the, the data is saved in your database, so you don't have to worry about that. Um, it's really just a matter of updating it, and then it will say, like, hey, do you want to override the existing one with this new one? And it's that simple. That will solve it. I know that's quick and easy, but that's all there is to it. All right, so if you have any other problems with Divi, we do have a full tutorial that has a whole list of different fixes to common problems in Divi. And in fact, each one of those... What we've been doing is building out a separate tutorial and full tutorial on each of those items. So you can go check that out. How to fix Divi, I think is the title of that blog post. All right, so you can check out our hundreds of other tutorials, subscribe, check out our membership and all that. Until next time, thank you, and we'll see you in the next video.